Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to create a school of fish that looks similar to this. We'll be using the shape tools, the pin tools, and the selection tools. And I'm going to draw my fish right down here in this blank area. First, I'm going to go over here to my shape tools, click and hold, and choose the ellipse tool. I'll drag out a nice oval shape that will be the main body of my fish. Now I'm going to click and hold and get the rectangle tool and I am going to draw the tail section on. So I'm going to try to get right, line it up really perfectly as I can with the end of the ellipse right here and pull it out. And every time I draw my fish, it looks a little bit different and that's okay. Everyone's fish can be unique. Now I'm going to grab the curvature tool and about in the middle of this line I'm going to click and then drag that little point down. Now I want to make sure I don't drag it down too far because I don't want to see the oval behind it. So just enough to add the point and that can be adjusted later. So same thing on the bottom, click and drag that up just enough. Now I'm going to switch to the pen tool and click about in the middle of this line here. And you can see I've added an anchor point, which is this square. Now with the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, I'm gonna click right on that square and hold and drag that inward. And again, I can adjust this later. Now I will go ahead and draw a selection around this whole shape and over in my properties panel down here where it says Pathfinder, I'll click Unite and that makes those pieces all one piece. Now I'll make some adjustments. So click on this top anchor point and drag it up a little bit. And this is totally your preference. You can make your fish look how you think it looks good. I'm going to drag the tail out just a little bit longer. So I'm going to draw a selection around these anchor points at the end and then just kind of drag that out a little bit more. Now I think I'm also going to move these a little bit and that looks okay. Now go ahead and click on this anchor point here at the nose of the fish and I'm going to click and hold on the pen tool and change it to the anchor point tool. Now, right now this is a curve. If I click this square, it changes it to a point. Now it's a little bit too pointy. So I'm going to go back to the direct selection tool and now you can see there's this circle. If I click on that circle, it will give that a little bit of a curve. Let's draw some fins. So I will convert this back to the regular pen tool and I'm going to click and drag kind of a trapezoid-ish shape here to be the top fin. And I have to touch the beginning point and the end point to make a complete shape. Now I'm going to put a little bit of a smaller fin down here, another kind of trapezoid-ish shape. And the beginning point and the end point have to touch. And I'm going to put a little fin down here. And beginning point and end point touch. Back to the curvature tool. So I will click to add a point and then drag that to be a little curved. I'm going to add a point here and add a point here and curve that a little bit. Add a point here. I'm going to drag it down and add a point here and drag it down. Now I'll get my direct selection tool, draw a selection around all of these. And again, I will use Pathfinder to unite that. I'm going to use the magnifying glass to make this a little larger now. And I'll just make a, a few uh, modifications to make the fish look more how I want it to. So this is totally up to you and you can change, change your fish 
to whatever you think looks good. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is select it with the selection tool and go ahead and add some color. So window swatches, and this is going to be a, a background fish for my future animation project. So I'm just gonna make it dark blue for now and bring the stroke forward and set it to none. And that's, let's uh, do control zero on the keyboard. And I will make this smaller by holding down shift and using the corner handles to shrink that. Now hold down alt and click and drag and you can make some copies. So holding down alt and I will just make some size variations and make a little school of fish. However, I think it looks good. Maybe something like that. And that's it for this video, everyone. Have fun making your school of fish.